Alright, what we got here is a uh, extender tube that I bought off of eBay. Uh, you look at it, we've got three different options here, three, two, one. And what this basically does is um, the plastic side, right, well it's not plastic, it's metal, but uh, this side attaches to the camera. If you can see the, the standard FD mount and then your lens attaches to this side and uh, this little screw here keeps it locked in place you just push down on it accordingly but um, so you've got your camera this like I said this part is attached to the camera and what this does is it extends the lens away from the sensor uh, I already hooked it up before and tried it out a little bit. It's it's uh, it's just for macro, so uh, you can't go and you know catch a deer like 400 yards away or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. But like I said, there's no glass in here, so um, keep that in mind because if there's dust in here, it's going to get on your sensor. Um, also, I forgot to mention when you uh, hook this into your camera, it's going to say, is there a lens attached? Basically, when you turn your camera on, when it's attached to the camera and then the, the lens is attached, uh, you just hit, uh, at least on my 60D, you just hit the little uh, record button if you're doing video, uh, basically saying OK, and, um, and it will go ahead and, and uh, allow you to start shooting. But uh, the other thing to keep in mind is, is this totally disrupts your aperture. So basically you're out of luck with your aperture. So you'll just have to uh, adjust your ISO and your shutter speed to uh, make it brighter or whatever. So you're, like I said, you're, I'm not sure what the, the aperture actually is. It just reads zero on the uh, camera. So uh, maybe. After I shoot this, I could I could look at the uh, look at the thumbnail and find out what the actual aperture it was when it was shooting. But uh, all right, uh, I think I mentioned this before, but this is the 18 to 135, so I have it all the way zoomed in and um, about a foot away from the subject, and this is as close as I could get uh, without this tube. So. I'm going to uh, stop this down and we'll see what it looks like with the tube. I'm having all three sections of the tube on here, so we'll see what it looks like. Uh, this right here is shot at, uh, it's a little dark outside, so unfortunately I have to shoot at uh, 1250 ISO and uh, 5.6 on the f-stop and I got it at 40 on the shutter speed. We'll see what it looks like. And I'll tell you what the settings are when I put the other uh, extender on. All right, there you go. Uh, this is with the, with the uh, extender tube on, and it's about I'd say about two inches from this part of the plant. Um, same shot before with the lens on. It was uh, without the extender, it was about a foot away, and that was as close as I could get and still maintain focus. Um, like I said, the f-stop doesn't work really. It, it just says zero, zero, and I tried to adjust it, and you can't. Um, also, when I put the tube on, it said make sure that the lens is attached, and it is. I made sure everything was secure. Uh, the settings here, I had to bump the ISO because uh, I'm so close in there, and it's a little dark. It's uh, at 2,500, unfortunately. and. Uh, I'd left the shutter speed at 40 